Celestron 21045, 114mm Equatorial Power Seeker Telescope. Made of highest quality material manufacturer, Celestron Celestron Power Seeker 114 Egg Telescope Affordable Telescope for Beginning Astronomer, Portable yet powerful all glass optical components with high transmission coatings for enhanced image brightness and clarity Newtonian optical design with a 114mm aperture and 900mm focal length. Equatorial mount for tracking the sky includes 3x bar low lens, 1.25, c 20mm IPsec 4mm IPsec aluminum tripod with accessory tray. Style. 114mm egg reflector product description The Power Seeker 114 egg telescope is a great way to open up the wonders of the universe to the aspiring astronomer. It is designed to give the first time buyer a great combination of quality value featuresque and power. Setup is quick and easy with no tools necessary. View the stars with slow motion controls for smooth tracking. Erect image optics are excellent for terrestrial and astronomical use. Fully coated glass optical components are covered with high transmission coatings for enhanced image brightness and clarity, while the 3x Barlow lens triples the magnifying power of each eyepiece. An accessory tray is provided for easy storage of your accessories. Amazon.com I love Bargainsk. So I was eager to try out Celestron's new Power Seeker 114 Newtonian Reflector Telescope. With its 4.5-inch mirror, Celestron's Power Seeker 114 gathers three times more starlight than popular 60mm refractors. The Power Seeker package includes two eyepieces, K20 and SR4, Sear Plastic 3X Bar Loke and a lightweight equatorial mount. Opticalic the Power Seeker 114 holds its own when compared with my Celestron First Scope 114 Egg. Using the K20 eyepiece included a standard equipment about 45x magnification it's easy to see the Andromeda Galaxy and its smaller satellite Galaxy M32. When compared to 60mm refractorsk the Power Seeker 114 brings out much more detail and the Orion Nebula reveals many more stars in Perseus double cluster and even brings out a few individual stars in globular clusters like M13. Saturn looks quite small at 45x with the K20 IP sec, but using my own 7.5mm eyepiece, 120x, I can easily detect the shadow cast by the planet on the rings and even glimpse the rings Cassini division. When the mirrors are properly lined up, or Kalimatek the images are reasonably sharp up to magnifications of 225x. I find the collimation tool helps get this fine tuning just right. As good as the optics Eric Havoc the effect of cost cutting shows up in the mechanical components. The focuser is plastic the finder scope is plastic the rings that attach the telescope to the tripod are plastic. Even when the tripod legs are clamped at their shortest setting the telescope wobbles when I try to focus at higher magnifications. Celestron's instruction manual correctly recommends that most viewing be done in the range of 40x to 130x. So what about that 675x magnification proclaimed on the box I'd say it's not worth the trouble. Over Alc the Celestron Power Seeker 114 is a budget priced telescope with good optical performance especially when using the low power K20 eyepiece. If you're willing to spend a little more Monique either Orion Sky Quest XT 4.5 or Celestron's first scope 114 egg will give you a sturdy amount can improve finder scopic and better eyepieces. 
also for about the price of the Power Seeker 114 C. I like the dependable refractor design of Celestron's first scope 70 EC. Jeff Phillips Pros, low cost good optics serviceable K20 eyepiece cons, wobbly mount difficult to collimate plastic finder and focus a see all product description. This is a review specifically for the Celestron PS 114mm egg. I got this as a gift from my daughter. After using it a few nights I did check the mirror collimation with the $28 Celestron 1.25 collimation eyepiece, which I already had. The mirror alignment was very very classic, so it needed only minimal adjustment which had no observable effects. On the third night I was able to see the moon, again, and the Orion Nebula at various magnification, 20mm eyepiece with and without Barlow. I was also able to see, with a Celestron Plosal 9mm eyepiece, Jupiter and it for Moonsk the two main cloud stripes on Jupiter itself can maybe some weaker ones. And the shadow of one moon on Jupiter itself a tiny black dot near one of the poles. I do like the lightweight aluminum mount as well kid is solid, if the legs are not completely extended, and it is light enough to carry around without getting a hernia. The finder scope works well for mech just in case I realign it every time I take the telescope out this telescope, is very sharp can a very good value right out of the box, and easy to focus. 5 stars, Brit edit, recently, February, I did buy and install the Celestron motor drive, $33 on Amazon, and it works perfectly. Once the motor drive speed is adjusted properly with the small knob, which is fairly easy to do, see it keeps say Jupiter centered for close to an hour with a 7mm eyepiece. Note that the drive speed only needs to be set on sec for a given latitude note that the Celestron 127 ek and 114 ek are quite similar in design and prisic nevertheless this one has a much longer tube and does not have a correcting eyepiece in the focus tube ek which seems to make it significantly sharper or at least much easier to collimate recently, April. I got an inexpensive laser collimator, LK1 from 7.com identical to the Orion Lassimut, and tried it on this scopic, even though it did not seem to need it. The whole job is very easy it takes less than 5 to 10 minutes, if you know what to do. There is no focus lens in the focusing tube back this is not a Bird Jones design. The adjustments were minimal and there was no noticeable change in sharpness cause I said above mine was flawless out of the box. Look in the picture section, to see my recent picture of Jupiter. Best additions to this telescope, are a the $30 Celestron motor drive, I love it. See a better quality achromatic $40 Celestron 2x Omni Bar Loke and a 9mm Celestron Omni eyepiece, $20. The telescope seems capable of a lot more, than what the rather basic included eyepieces suggest. You will then be in telescope heaven for very little money. I have also found that this scope is quite well suited to astrophotography of the planets in my case in combination with the very reliable Celestron clock drive. Have not changed a battery yet on that on in 3 months of use. And an inexpensive webcam. A Logitech C310 in my case. P.S. Added pictures of Jupiter and the moon. April 2014. Added more pictures of Jupiter and mask on the latter I can clearly see one of the polar ice caps, April 2014. Took a nice picture of the Cassini division on Saturn, May 2014. Added another excellent picture I got of Jupiter on a very clear day, March 2015. See you can clearly see multiple rings as well as details of the main ring clouds.